So the project that I propose for my Marie Curie Fellowship is focused on uh, research about a new technology for ablation of cardiac arrhythmias that is uh, called pulsed field ablation and is based in reversible electroporation. The advantage, main advantage of this technique with respect to the classical ablation technique that is radiofrequency is that it's basically non-thermal. This fact makes that this technology is much safer than the current technologies. Uh, with the data that we have at this moment, it seems that the technology has similar efficiency uh, with respect to the classical radiofrequency ablations, but with much safer profile. I, I work with in vitro cells that uh, allows me to do like the basic stuff where I really understand what are the optimal parameters to, uh, to perform irreversible electroporation. I'm working uh, with a computer, uh, working with computational models, that what we do with these computational models is try to understand how the lesion that we create in a tissue will be and how to improve the safety profile of this lesion and avoid thermal effects. But at the end, we also have to try and validate our studies in real models, in living tissues. And here in Barcelona, I had previously worked with a really good group in electrophysiology that is uh, at the San Paul Hospital here in Barcelona. In fact, I'm planning to perform a secondment in this uh, project of, of four months where I will be uh, in the hospital working with cardiologists, attending also to treatments of real patients, human patients, just to, as, as an observer to see how a real uh, treatments are performed that also will help me to understand how to improve this technology and also to perform the final preclinical validation of this technology. I also will be uh, working with this group of uh, cardiologists. One of the activities that I proposed in my project is the organizing an international school of one day uh, to explain the basis of the pulsed field ablation technology, the current, current state of development and also the future of this technology.